Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the free PrimeWin image processing system and perform some common image processing tasks. PrimeWin is available as a free download from the National Remote Sensing Center of India website and you can Google PrimeWin and reach this website from where you can download this software. So let us first start by seeing how we can load satellite images in the PrimeWin viewer and visualize satellite data using the PrimeWin viewer. So to load an image we start PrimeWin and then click on the viewer button and that opens the viewer window. All we need to do is to go to file and open and pick up an image the image is in the GeoDiff format which is the default format for IRS satellites just simply click open um, before the image is displayed you have a small box in which you can choose band combinations for different guns in the case of Indian remote sensing satellite band 1 is the green band, band 2 is the red band band 3 is the infrared band near infrared band and band 4 is the shortwave infrared band so to create a false color composite I will just simply choose 3 2 and 1 and I can do that also by clicking on these bands and then I'll just simply press load and close so I see my image and immediately one thing is apparent that this image is actually showing the raw values I'll try to fit the image to the window so right click the image becomes a little larger so one thing is apparent that this image is actually displaying the raw values and one of the first things that we want to do is to stretch this image so just right click and then choose stretch and then you can choose from one of the options that is available so I'm going to go ahead and choose histogram equalize stretch so the moment you do that your image is stretched you can close this one of the interesting things in um, PrimeWin is that when you right click on this image you have an option to have a full resolution window so you can just click on this one and what you get is a full resolution window which you can just move a little bit um, the idea behind a full resolution window is that when this image is being displayed this image is not actually being displayed in full resolution and say for example if you want to zoom in at a particular point and then if you press the zoom button you will quickly see the image pixelating so this display primarily has actually been constructed using alternate pixels but this display over here is actually showing each and every pixel so if you want to zoom in in a particular area just simply go into this viewer click on that particular area and then come to the full resolution zoom window and then press load so the area that you have selected here will actually come into view and then you can zoom into that area and you know kind of have a more detailed look onto the image notice that this image is also not stretched and so you can do likewise here as well in this uh, window just simply right click and stretch and apply a histogram equalized stretch what you can also do is to increase the size of this window and to see more of the image enlarged image all you have to do is to then press the load button one more time so as you alter the size of the full resolution window you can actually fill that window with a larger area of the image by pressing load as you move your cursor in this um, image here in this particular viewer as you can see image coordinates are being actually displayed 
and um, you you have a choice of seeing the image coordinates at which appear at the bottom of the screen uh, either in screen coordinates or if you click on this button in geocoded coordinates so this particular button is for zooming in zooming out increasing the contrast changing the coordinate display whether it is in geocoded coordinates or screen coordinates if you choose geo coordinates coded coordinates you will get your locations as you move your mouse at the bottom of the screen um, in um, latitude and longitude for example so this is how you can actually display an image so to display another area of this image you can just simply click here or drag a little bit and then press load so this image this area of the image where you have clicked or dragged now becomes visible uh, it takes a little time but then it becomes visible in full resolution so this is how you can actually um, explore uh, your image your loaded image uh, also notice some buttons over here so the first button that I like to just mention to you here is the control panel you can just click on it and you get your band combination so to change a band combination all you have to do is to just click in a box and then press one of these buttons and then you can show the image with different bands in different guns so this is how you can load and work with a satellite image or visualize a satellite image in prime win viewer and you can open multiple viewers so how do you ground truth this image and as you can see here I have changed the view to the image coordinate view the geocoded coordinate view so as I'm moving my mouse in this window the uh, geographic coordinates are becoming visible as decimal degrees latitude and longitude and likewise here the only difference is that when you're moving in this particular window uh, the the coordinates are changing with the movement of your mouse but in this window the coordinates will change only when you click a particular point so for example I'm very much curious to see what are these very bright patches here how do they look on the ground so what I'm going to do is I just come into this one of these patches and say click the moment I do that as you can see you will get the coordinates of this particular place and next what you need to do is to open Google Earth and enter these coordinates so here we are and I have this Google Earth with me which is open and it's roughly in the area so I'm just going to enter these coordinates over here and remember uh, that when you're using Google Earth you have to make sure that you are entering the latitude first so I'm gonna enter 23.068313 comma 77.309737 and the moment I have entered these coordinates all I need to do is to just simply say search so the moment I do that Google Earth takes me to this particular place and you will notice that um, I've already marked it with a polygon because of a very curious shape it almost looks like a bird this is the beak and these are the feathers so you can just zoom out a little bit and as you can see this is just adjoining a forest so if you wanted to find out if I can just move this here so and this one a little bit here so you can see everything at one go so here you can see that this particular point which is located over here okay this one is if I can just zoom in you will see this little point here it's adjoining to the forest okay and now when you're opening Google Earth uh, you can see the shape of this particular field as you zoom inside Google Earth you come to know the real identity of this particular area and it appears to be of uh, a cultivated field but it is not having any crop at this particular point in time so notice that just adjoining this it appears red so it's covered with vegetation so you can see here that this is actually at this particular point 
you have a crop now incidentally I have this image is of Popal India which is uh, which was taken in October 2009 and as I was exploring Google Earth I found one of the images in the in the timeline that corresponds very close to this date which is 9th of October 2009 so this is actually nearly the condition in which this image was actually taken at that particular point in time so you can see a very close resemblance um, and for example this is a portion that is uh, which I'm calling as the beak uh, if you look closely this is what it is here and then just adjoining this beak is something dark so you can see that this is another field which is having black cotton soil and so on and so forth all the red areas as you can see here are forested land uh, in some or the other degree so you can actually find out a lot about ground cover just simply by using Google Earth go to a particular location for example if I wanted to find out what is here I'll just click here in the master image and then load it here And once I've loaded this image in my high resolution viewer, um, <coughs> I can then just simply, um, um, if I can just drag it one more time and then say load. So once I've loaded this image, um, as you can see, this is the place where I want to be so I can just zoom in here so I'll just simply click here on this particular point get the coordinates okay these are the coordinates and then just simply enter them in Google Earth and see what is the condition of the cover what exactly the ground looks like uh, corresponding to this kind of a bright signature in the infrared so this is how you can actually visualize um, a satellite image in prime wind viewer and also connect it to the ground using Google Earth you can uh, also explore some of these buttons on the top here for example this little button here if you can click on it you get a small rectangle which uh, you can just expand catching the edges okay and also move to a desired location once you have it at a desired location say for example you want to subset or crop a study area out of this big image then you can just simply adjust it and then right click and say crop so at this stage you can also if you knew the exact coordinates you could actually type the exact coordinates right here but this is where the the box is located so these are the coordinates of the current box and all you need to do is to just simply go and say OK Prime Win will ask you for a file name to save you can give a file name and then just simply save and what you have is a subset of this image which you can load one more time um, uh, just open Prime Win start a viewer and load the image that you have subsetted so feel free to explore the other buttons also and uh, this is how you can actually work with images, load images, view and visualize images in PrimeVin. In the next part of this tutorial, we will cover how to create an NDVI image and how to classify images. Thank you.